Hey everyone, this is Yada Yada 13. Uh, just giving you an update on uh, my finds and uh, asking for some advice and uh, hopefully people will leave comments. Uh, I wanted to give a couple shout outs uh, real quick. One to uh, Delaware Digger. Um, he uh, subscribed to my channel and uh, responded to uh, a comment I left on, uh, on his page and uh, I appreciate that, so thank you. Uh, the other one I have to kind of read because it's uh, pretty long. Uh, Wes and VA Mid Atlantic Relic and Coin Hunters. They also subscribe to my channel, um, and I appreciate that. So I want to give you guys a shout out and uh, say thank you. Uh, both these guys, uh, I uh, uh, I've been watching videos. I watch videos every day on on metal detecting. Um, so. Uh, I appreciate uh, any uh, input, uh, any advice uh, from people who have been there and know what they're doing and uh, can help me uh, uh, get better at what uh, this hobby uh, has in store for me. So without further ado, I'll show you uh, my, uh, my finds and uh, uh, have a couple of funny comments afterwards. Here we are. Um, I think the best one I have, this is my favorite, a Texas Ranger cap gun. I really like this. I was really excited to dig this up. Um, what I like about it has the dual mechanism. And I can't remember, I used to have a gun somewhat like this, not saying my age, but I can't remember if this mechanism here releases the barrel or if this releases the chamber that comes out. Um, of course this is a striker. Um, I, was re I was really happy to find that. I thought that was really cool. So, um, you know, you look at these things and you think, God, how old is this? And, you know, who had it? You know, um, so yeah, that was that was pretty cool. I really enjoyed that. Um, three shotgun shells. Now, keep in mind this is just three digs. Uh, I did two digs uh, in December, and uh, one dig first week in January before it got uh, too cold. Um, so. Pretty uh, proud of what I found in just three digs. Um, this is pretty cool. This shotgun shell is a J.C. Higgins. And you can look it up online if you want, but this goes to a really cool looking shotgun. So um, I was pretty thrilled to find that. Um, it's old. It's the the shotguns from the '60s. So that was a neat find. Moving on, silver plated spoon, which I was happy to find. Got to have a spoon, and some metal spoon that uh, has seen better days, but a spoon nonetheless. I found this bracket in a private residence that I uh, got permission to and when I show the video to that when I can return in the spring you guys will freak out when you see the site um, it looks like a to me some kind of a door bracket um, it's quite heavy made out of uh, iron um, this was at a, a barn that burnt down. This was kind of laying uh, a couple inches down. So, I don't know. I have to clean it up a little bit more and see if I can get some detail on it. Uh, scar case, or 10. This, if anyone can give me a thought on this, why it's the way it is, this is a piece of lead. See how I can bend it? But it's round, 
that was cut here. So explain why. It's just on, it, it's on. Handle to a pan. Very light, so no cast iron or anything like that. But uh, kind of cool to dig up. This is a I don't know what it is. Some kind of hanger for something. I don't know. But it was a find. A J hook. Square nails. And a piece to uh, railroad uh, joining. Uh, this this kind of this bracket went uh, uh, to join uh, rails together on a railroad. So that was kind of cool to find. This uh, looks like a uh, the end of a um, a spring. What kind I don't know. Um, if someone could tell me by the way it looks, is this something from a horse and carriage buggy or a car? Um, from where I found it, I'm thinking it's older. So, let me know. An axe head. This was a thrill to find. I thought this was really cool. I haven't cleaned it up yet, but I will. And I, I want to take some time cleaning it up because that's my first and, uh, really happy with that railroad tie and these things these are pretty heavy they're not steel I think they're pewter they rang up uh, high 70s so I thought I had silver uh, something along that range um, but I think they're pewter this looks like a nameplate but I can't, it, it's so far gone, I can't read it. And I'm kind of bummed about that because I really want to know what it is. Um, but these two other pieces were in the hole with that. I don't know if they joined like that or like that. I don't know. But what's interesting is it looks like they're riveted. There's like a hole on each corner. And each piece... Is like that it looks like they're riveted I, I if someone knows let me know bracket to what I don't know maybe inside a door I don't know tell me now this is the funny part <clears throat> here are my coins found this is all clad two quarters Nickel, three dimes, nothing different. All clad pennies, uh, you know, nothing real spectacular. Now, why do they look this way? Why do they look all messed up? This one in particular, you know, it's falling apart even as I touch it. Check that out. Let's see if I can zoom it out. <laughs> yeah well let me tell you the story behind these um, I saw on, on YouTube the way to clean um, coins is to put them in vinegar so that's what I did I soaked these in vinegar apparently these didn't get as messed up because I think they're more copper the zincs, however, <laughs> didn't really uh, like the uh, vinegar, um, and this is the end result. So, for people who are wondering, don't put zinc pennies in vinegar. I have two Wheaties here. This one from 1929. I don't know. Hopefully it'll focus. Yeah, I gotta love the iPhone. Well, it's not gonna do it, but that's 1929, that's 1957. 
and I'll get to that in a sec. Nice little uh, breast cancer pin. I was happy to find that. And this thing. This is silver. This is the first silver object I found and have only found yet. Now, what is it? I first thought it was a ring. And in a sense it is. It's cool looking. It's got a nice design on it. Let's see if I can focus. Oh, i got to get better equipment here. There we are. Anyway, um, when I showed my wife, she said, uh, oh, I know what that is. That's a toe ring. Well, guys don't wear things on their toes, so, okay, toe ring, silver toe ring. Happy with that. Now for uh, a question. These, these pull tabs. <laughs> I can understand getting the beaver tail pull tabs. These I'm trying to figure out why. Now I'll tell you why. You know, you, you, you see, be a responsible drinker. Drink responsibly. Uh huh. Okay. Well, when I open a beer, see, beer. I go, blunk, blunk, and it stays on. What do you know? It stays on. And then I recycle the can. Okay. How does this happen? I mean, what are these people doing? They go back and forth, back and forth with it until it breaks off, and then they go, huh? And throw it away. I mean. There's so many of these. What? What? Who are you people? Stop it. Really. There's no need. Keep it on the can. Okay, just keep it on the can. Please? Can, can, you know? I, I. It's frustrating. The only thing is that when I do find these, I know I'm in the right range for gold. So... If I find them, I know I'm at least doing the right thing. But just had to say it, you know. I've probably found 50 of these, and I don't mind it. You know, it is what it is. But uh, really, I'm sure I'm not the only one, but I just had to throw it out there, you know. So anyway, those are my finds. Remember, this is just three digs. Um... I found my first gun, which is cool. My first spoon, which is cool. My shotgun shells. And my axe head. Happy with the axe head. That's cool. That's a tool there. Um, so, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty happy about it all so far. Um, I'm going to kind of expand on why I... Uh, got the AT Pro. So I'm going to switch this uh, this camera to me and uh, explain it. The AT Pro. Why? I know there are a ton of different metal detectors out there. And no, I did not get the AT Pro because of diggers. Um, I watched a bunch of uh, videos on, on uh, metal detecting and I wanted something that was going to be versatile um, some I can use in water something I can use on land something that's easy to use and something that I didn't buy and then in a year go oh I made a mistake I need to buy a better machine and have to buy another machine um, the AT Pro is not cheap I mean it's 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 up there if if you're starting out um you really got to be committed to doing this hobby if you're buying one for your first machine um 
yeah, there's more expensive ones out there, and uh, maybe in the future I might buy one. I don't know. Um, my equipment will grow as I get better at this. Um, but uh, uh, I got the AT Pro for those reasons. Um, I want something I could really master and get comfortable with, and I'm starting to really get comfortable with it. Um, and I really am I'm happy with it. Uh, I think for someone beginning to do this hobby it's a good choice um, people who are whites uh, uh, people and and uh, deuce people and you know you can say what you want that's fine I, I don't care I just know what I'm comfortable with. I have a lot of lakes around me, and I want something that I can use everywhere. And uh, um, I'm happy with it. So that's why I uh, I purchased that machine, and uh, I am I'm happy with it. I think it's a it's a great machine. Um, and I'm looking forward to finding a lot of stuff with it. Um, as uh, these videos progress. You'll probably see uh, graphics, things like that. Um, I'm not really used to the YouTube editing and video editing and all that. I'm just doing straight up videos right now. Um, until I get better equipment, that's what you're going to get. So, sorry I don't have music in the background. I don't have, you know, cool little graphics. It's what it is, man. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. I'll try to do what I can in the future to uh, do some live digs and that sort of thing as soon as the thaw. So if I don't post anything for a while, it's because the ground's frozen. It's nothing I can do. But uh, I do have some permissions that are pretty exciting. So um, hopefully we'll find something good there and you'll see. Till then, take care.